What's up guys? Today I just want to talk a little bit about my thought process on why sometimes it's not a good idea to start new websites. I used to start new websites a lot, probably for two reasons. The first one was I would get a bit bored. I would reach a plateau and I wouldn't be able to push through that plateau. I would do everything I knew how to do. I would create the website, I'd put content out there, I'd do my keyword research and I'd get the website up to 100, 150, 200 articles. And then I'd turn around and go, okay, I'm a bit bored of this one now, I'm gonna start again somewhere else. The second reason I started a new website was because I felt like I was missing out on something, that I found other website or niche ideas that were gonna be better than the one I currently have. It was the, this grass is always greener on the other side of the fence mentality. Oftentimes I would talk to friends who are in niches with higher EPMVs or RPMs, and I would say, well, I wanna get in some of that action, I'm gonna go over to there, or I would decide that you know, I hadn't come up, had, didn't have enough keywords for my current site, so I'd try a new site, or I'd have some sort of excuse as to why a new site was gonna be better, it's gonna be the next big thing compared to the one I currently have. My mentality on this has changed though, because firstly, I don't think the grass is always greener on the other side. Every time I start a new site, there are some good things and there are some bad things. In my thought process, it doesn't really matter if other people are making more money per thousand visitors than me or have more traffic than me. I need to stick in my lane and focus on my website and building up my website as much as possible and push out all those other distractions. Any website can succeed, even if it's got lower traffic or lower RPMs than other people, I just need to stay laser focused on what I'm doing. The other reason I think that not that starting new websites was sort of holding me back in my business was I felt like I was never progressing. I would hit this plateau where I felt like I'd done everything I possibly could do for a website or at least everything that was easy for me to do for a website. So I'd start again. The reality is it's a little bit like a, a computer gaming analogy. You're playing a computer game and you might get up to level five or level 10 on this game. And then the next level, level 11, is a little bit too hard. The, the boss might be difficult in that level or you just don't like something about that level. But you really love the game still. So you go and start the game again, you create a new avatar just like you would create a new website. You start the game again, then you reach level 10 and you feel that plateau again that you're not getting anything, any progress or you can't beat the boss on level 11. So you just start all over again. And the problem here is you're never improving your skills and you're going to come across the exact same problem on the next site you make and the next site you make and the next site you make unless you commit to one site. So if we're using this video game analogy, get one avatar in your video game up to level 25 or 30 or however many levels there are in the game and develop those skills. So next time you start a website that you've got the skills to absolutely zoom through that boss at a level 11 that was really difficult. These are the skills like getting an editor to edit the content on your website, hiring writers, outsourcing as much as you possibly can so that you're setting yourself goals like, this month I'm gonna publish 50 articles or this month I'm gonna publish 200 articles. How many extra articles can you publish on a site per month while still maintaining the quality by getting an editor and hiring writers? Another thing you might wanna do is, even if you're not a link builder, you could start thinking about ways that you can develop links naturally like creating excellent infographics. What infographics can you make for your website and how can you get them out there in the world? How can you share them with people in uh, all over the internet and say, hey, do you wanna use my infographic on your site? That would be awesome if you did. So finding ways to improve your skills as a website creator, instead of hitting that plateau at level 10 in the game and starting all over again, it's never gonna help you in the long run to get where you wanna go, which is winning that video game. So that's my thought process on why I am only focusing on three websites and not thinking about any other websites, not for at least in the medium term future, not for 12 months, not for 24 months. I want all three of these websites to do absolutely amazing job. And for me, that means getting better, beating the bosses on the next levels, getting extra editors, like I hired an editor last month, seeing how many articles I can get published, 
uh, seeing how many links I can get, even if they're natural editorial links, finding ways to get better at my skills instead of seeing that shiny object or seeing the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, because it's not. The grass is most green, is the greenest in your pasture if you keep tending to your little block of land Make sure that you you know you water your plants, you do everything so that you, with your one website, is the healthiest, best website possible. So other people look at your website and go, wow, that's amazing. So that's what your goal should be, not starting new websites every six months, in my opinion.